Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right, guys, let's go over briefly just the menu system from within the develop module. You'll notice that when you switch from module to module, the actual menu system does change a little bit. Now, file and edit don't change from basically from menu to menu. So these are going to be the exact same as in the library module. In fact, if we switch to the map module, they're going to stay basically the exact same as well. So these two are going to be kind of constants throughout all modules. But from there on, we have the develop, photo, settings, tools. These will actually change. But when you guys actually get comfortable with the develop module, when you have kind of mastered the interface and you guys have already memorized the shortcuts that you guys will frequently use, I expect that most of you will probably never visit the actual menus again while you're in the develop module. Unlike the library module where there are actually a few different options that you can only get to from the menu system, the develop module is basically just a duplication of everything that you already have in your interface. So for example, if we go to the develop menu dropdown, we just see we have options to create new snapshots, which we already knew how to do, new presets, new preset folders, clear the history, everything that we can already do just directly in our interface and by right clicking. Same thing with photo. We have the option to rotate them, but we've already learned how to do these things via different shortcuts. So it's all different things we pretty much already learned how to do with settings. We can reset all the settings, but we already learned how to do that down with the bottom right. We can copy settings, paste settings. Everything that we've already learned basically has a menu item up in these menus. Now the useful thing with the menus is that if you forget the shortcut, you guys can always go into like the settings menu and see that copy settings is control shift C. And that's where it kind of comes handy. But really, once you guys memorize these shortcuts, there's kind of no point to going back up here in the menu and accessing anything up here because everything for the develop module is available through the interface as well as through the shortcuts. Now, if you guys have any questions at any time, I would highly recommend going to the develop module, hit control forward slash or select the develop module shortcuts to just kind of reference those shortcuts at any point in time if you guys forget. Again, the shortcut is the exact same for every single module. So from the library module, if you want to look at the library module shortcuts, you would just hit control forward slash or command forward slash as well. So just know that you have that as a quick reference anytime you need it. All right, guys, so let's go back to the develop module and let's move on to the next tutorial.